We are back at HodgePodge on this Friday. Our guest, Kelly Blackledge with the Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge. Kelly, we've been talking a little bit about uh, critters that might be out and about in the refuge. Now that things have warmed up a little bit, uh, what else might folks see if they head your way this weekend? You know, talking about uh, antler sheds kind of reminded me of um, mice and all the shrews and voles and that have been so active through the winter. And we have a few animals that uh, like to eat those things. And one that's been seen in our area quite often that's kind of unique is the northern shrike. So the northern shrike will, um, it's small bird. It's only like nine inches, like the size of a blue jay. It has this great mask across it, a skinny mask across its eyes, and it's kind of grayish in color. But this little bird likes to eat other animals. So it's not going to go after the seeds at your bird feeder. It's going to go after the critters underneath the bird feeder. And it's uh, scientific name is Lanius borealis, so uh, which actually means butcher. So uh, Lanius is butcher in Latin. So this bird has, uh, you know, dainty feet. It's not like our raptors with the huge hook bill and really strong feet. So it's got to rely on other ways to kind of kill or butcher these animals. So it'll go after a mouse on the ground and uh, capture it with its feet, but it has to quickly snap its neck with uh, with its beak. So it, it's very precise in how it snaps the neck and then it'll shake it kind of like the uh, a dog might shake something. Um, and that tiny bird can shake this little mouse uh, with a G-force, like six Gs or something. It's amazing. So, um, so that animal is dead. But the other unique thing about that is that they'll put that mouse, they'll kind of store it or or on a on a, a sharp little branch or a barbed wire fence. So every now and again, and this happened to me this winter, walking down the trail, you might see a little shrew stuck in a shrub up high. Um, and that's the shrike. That's the activity of a shrike. So, um, so watch out for northern shrike in our area. They're normally here in the, in the wintertime. They nest way up north, obviously Borealis being the northern um, part of that name. Uh, we also, there's also a loggerhead shrike and that one um, is kind of less seen. Actually, its population uh, has dropped up to 80% since 1960. So not as common um, to see. So yeah, that's an animal. And then of course, if you're walking late enough, you might, uh, this is a time of year, I think we've mentioned before that the owls are, are breeding. So you might hear... <laughs> And that's the barred owl. <laughs> Sounds like Zeke when the twins score a run. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, now, so what you, was that one you just played? So this is a uh, barred owl. The barn owl. Barred owl. <laughs> Who cooks for you? <laughs> Very yeah. unique sound, Kelly. So all kinds of sounds, like you likely mentioned earlier, the chickadee is singing its spring song. You might hear some other birds that uh, are starting to sing a little bit more uh, the, with all of this warmth happening around us. Before we let you go, we want to just touch on uh, Friends of Tamarack. Uh, can you update us on what's going on with the Friends of Tamarack? Yeah, so they are moving right along with that trail. We're so fortunate to have uh, such a wonderful community to help us make an accessible trail around the Discovery Center. So we're excited about uh, about getting that concrete down there and creating a, a, a nice accessible path. We'll have an art piece out there that people will be in, able to enjoy. So, uh, so that's kind of what's happening with uh, the friends of Tamarack is um, they're, they're working on getting that going and also working on some creative ways to address uh, school groups. You know, this spring, that's a great time for uh, kids to get outside and learn a little bit more about nature. So you'll be hearing more about how the schools are connecting with Tamarack and getting outside. For folks who want to head uh, over to Tamarack for the weekend, uh, is there any particular hours you would encourage people to show up at? It's uh, the refuge lands are open from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. So 
anytime you can uh, throughout the day. And again, I just encourage folks to find a trail you haven't explored before. Grab, stop at a kiosk, grab a map, and find one of those trails that you just haven't explored before. A little Spread hard work for the adults this weekend. Uh, Kelly's going to make you go out and uh, work a little bit. Find a different trail that you haven't been on. Kelly, always appreciate your time with us on HodgePodge, and we'll talk again.